video comes from Reddit user Flickscreen. He caught this footage late one night with a security camera outside his house that monitors his vehicles. He claims that there have actually been strange occurrences regarding this truck before, including the tailgate opening on its own one day, for really no reason at all. He also has a running joke that the truck is haunted or cursed, although he says he's not sure if these are just jokes anymore. Let's see what happened. The footage clearly shows the driver's side door of Flick's truck opening on its own, which is creepy enough. However, viewers noticed that there appears to be some sort of apparition directly next to the door. It's important to note that the uploader also specified that this never happened to this door before and mechanically there's really no reason for this to occur. A strange shadow can clearly be seen drifting towards the truck and evaporates only moments before the door opens. Is this a spirit caught on camera? Maybe the entity messing with the truck of his. A very interesting capture and I'd love to hear your thoughts. A big shout out to Kamikoro Knives for sponsoring today's video. If you are in the market for amazing steel kitchen knives, this one is for you. Kamikoro is producing durable and razor sharp Japanese steel kitchen knives and tap into more than 800 years of traditional techniques from Japan. They only use steel that is directly sourced from Japanese mills. Each single bevel edge blade is carefully crafted, perfected and inspected and their techniques have been honed and perfected over many generations. The knives are safely stored in a beautiful heavy-duty ashwood box, which not only looks very high quality, but it also makes the knife set a wonderful gift. They have a vast array of Japanese steel knives, such as this three-piece Kenpeki knife set, which comes with an Akiri vegetable knife, the slicing knife, and this very handy utility knife. Make sure to give their website store a visit to find a vast array of amazing items. I still remember opening the knife box for the first time and how impressed I was by the professional look and the perfect and comfortable weight distribution in my hand. Their expert bladesmiths forge and shape the steel into hardy blades with an extremely sharp and fine edge. To maintain this sharp edge, you should also consider one of Kamikoto's sharpening whetstones. Great service is very important, which is why Kamikoto responds to every client's need as quick as possible. And they even offer you a lifetime guarantee on each of their knives. They are currently having an extended New Year's sale. And on top of that sale, you can get an additional $50 off any purchase you make with discount code KINGFROSTMARE. Click the link below or go to kamikoto.com slash KINGFROSTMARE and use promo code KINGFROSTMARE to save an extra $50 today. Let's now take a look at an investigation by Signs and Signals. In their previous visit to this abandoned home, the duo found a mysterious box there. Not knowing what it was, they brought it home and opened it. Many viewers, however, warned the pair that the box appeared to resemble a debug box, an item that is haunted by the spirit of someone who has passed on. According to legend, the spirits that inhabit these items also have the ability to possess people as well. The man decides that the best course of action is to return the box to exactly where they found it. Let's see what happened. Alright, so Dave is going to make the new seal. Just do what they had here. Put it back, they had it in the middle. Okay, um... We need you to get back in the box. Dude, did you fart? No, I smell that too. That stinks. Dude, that smells so bad. I know you farted. No. Oh, no. That smells pretty bad. It is often said that when a foul smell inexplicably appears in a haunted location, that a demon or other nefarious spirit is actually very close. And it is the smell of death itself you are smelling. These were not the only strange occurrences of the night, however. Oh my god. Dude, that shit's on the ground now. It's on the ground. What the f dude? Dude, it's spinning, man. Dude. Up there, down there, and not like falling to pieces. Dude, what the f man? 
Near the end of the investigation, they unknowingly capture this chilling sight. Do some crazy sh**, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Look all the hell that they <laughs> Straight up, bro. That's some. I ain't messing with you. In the back corner of the room, a strange shadow can be seen. It seems the man didn't notice it while filming. However, when we look closer, it definitely appears to be in the shape of a person. Is it possible this shadow figure is related to the box that the team returned to the home? Luckily, it doesn't seem the spirit attached itself to either man, as is the risk with meddling with haunted objects. Make sure to give signs and signals a watch if you can. This next clip comes to us from La Dimension Obscura. Not much is known about the context surrounding the clip. All that is really known is that the girl featured in the video was practicing a dance for her TikTok channel. When she captured this strange sight, let's take a look. Did you spot it? While the girl is dancing, it is easy to see that she is entirely alone. There is definitely no one behind her in the hallway. For only a brief moment, however, a figure can be seen behind the woman's shoulder. Disappearing again quickly after. I believe this entity moved too quick to be a regular human. and There is something truly haunting about the creature's grey appearance. It seems that spirits appearing behind people as they are filming harness clips is not quite so rare anymore. Is it possible, with the rising popularity of video making, that we are simply catching spirits that have always been there? Let me know your theories. Do you think this is an actual spirit? Or was it just a family member in the background? This next clip comes to us from the channel Really Haunted. The owner, Lee, has been documenting the strange paranormal events that have been occurring in his house for quite some time now. It is not unusual for Lee to experience poltergeist activity, such as objects moving on their own, orb captures and unexplained sounds. This video is a bit different, since Lee seems to capture actual footage of the spirit that is wreaking havoc on his home. In the video, we see Lee sleeping on the couch in his living room. According to him, this was just after he had read the prayers of St. Michael, in an attempt to exorcise the spirit, or spirits. However, he believes this really had no effect other than angering it. Let's take a look at the paranormal capture from this night. A large and strange shadow materializes in the center of the room and makes its way slowly towards the couch where he is sleeping. It's hard to say if this is related, but as the spirit is approaching the couch, a dark orb lands near Lee's face and actually seems to steer him from his sleep. This may just be a coincidence, but I find it very interesting. The shadow seems to lean over Lee before making its way back. And in class poltergeist form, knocking some objects over before disappearing. What do you guys think about this capture? Are we witnessing a legit haunting here?
The following video was uploaded by user Google Me Bee. He pulled his footage from the security camera in his backyard while he was just scrolling through the video feed. He noticed this strange motion event that caught his attention and he's never seen anything like it before. On any of his security cameras, he has no reasonable explanation for what he's captured here. On the right side of the screen, in the backyard, a strange orb-like shape is seen, floating towards the dark corner of the yard. The white orb seems to change shapes, shifting into what almost looks like a person walking, and then suddenly disappears. Even more interesting, it seems that somehow, the spirit actually activates the motion lights in the user's backyard before disappearing. There's definitely something eerie about this footage. What could this possibly be? Now let's take a look at a clip from Dark Ghost Paranormal. In this video, Dennis is once again exploring a very old abandoned home. This is the second time Dennis visits this particular location. Apparently, there had been reports of haunted activity surrounding the house, including strange sounds coming from the inside, as well as reports of people being seen inside the house, although there should not have been anyone there. This house has also been inflicted with a terrible fire many years ago. Strangely enough, it is said that the fires were self-ignited, with absolutely no signs of arson. For this investigation, Dennis focuses mainly on the first floor, where the fire broke out. He leaves camera one in a stationary location, a hallway, said to contain a lot of negative energy, and uses camera two to investigate around the house. Let's see what he manages to capture. Dennis captures something really intriguing from camera one as he's walking through the hallway. He's walking away from the camera, filming, as an incredibly dark shadow is seen flying past him down the hallway. The shadow really couldn't belong to Dennis or any of the objects in the room. And you can even see the way the shadow seems to go right through him. Could this be the same shadow creature that Dennis caught last time he visited the home? Who can say for sure, but as always, a really creepy visit. The following video comes from user Dokomisteri. It was actually from the show Most Haunted, which is a ghost hunting TV series from England. This clip was taken from an episode where the team was investigating a haunted house. Ironically, the camera had actually been placed on a table and they weren't meant to capture anything at all at the time. Cameraman places the camera on the side of the counter and quickly we notice movement coming from a small doorway at the end of the hallway. A figure in the shape of a man can be seen walking away from the camera and as he walks up the stairs we notice he appears to be somewhat transparent. The crew notices as well and of course go running after the spirit and of course they go running after the spirit to get a better look but unfortunately the entity has disappeared by the time they make their way to the stairs most taunted claims this is the most concrete evidence of paranormal life that they've captured but what do you think some people say this is just a poor fake 
but it has never fully been disproven that this was in fact not a real ghost capture. What do you believe though? True ghost sighting or just another hoax? Let's take another look at Dino Nugget 741. Dino has been experiencing terrifying paranormal activity in his home for a few months now and has been documenting it for all of us on his channel. Recently, he had a few more strange events occur that he's caught on camera. We will be looking at two of them today. The first happened in December. Dino filmed his home after leaving as an experiment to see if paranormal events would occur even if no one was home. I don't know what the point of this is, man. If I'm not here, it seems clear that whatever spirit is haunting this home seems to be active even if the residents aren't home. The strange shadow creature can be seen peeking from the side of the wall before quickly disappearing. Then we see the sink mysteriously turn on on its own. And finally the camera is actually knocked down by some unseen force. Do you think the shadow figure seen in this clip is responsible for turning on the faucet and knocking over the camera? The next clip Dino posted occurred a few weeks later in January of this year. He was relaxing one evening in his living room when he thought he noticed movement coming from near the front door. Dino pulled out his phone to record quickly. Shit! darkness a strange shadow can be seen moving around near the door. Dino of course gets up to investigate and turns on the light as well. In classic fashion the spirit is gone before Dino can manage to get a clear shot. Some viewers wonder why Dino always seems to run towards the entities to which he responds. We go because we have to make sure there isn't an intruder in the house. Family safety is most important. What a creepy situation Dino finds himself in. Let's see what will unfold in the future. The following picture was sent by Joseph M. and it unfortunately is not further known from where it stems originally. It is said that the picture was taken by a family member. The mother in the picture was just about to serve the birthday cake to her little boy, when something rather creepy appeared in the mirror. Looks like another boy is present right next to the child's mother. Nobody knew this child however, and the family speculates that this could have been a ghost child. Could this be so? If it wasn't just a weird reflection from somewhere, what else could have been the cause in your opinion? Scary to say the least. This next clip comes to us from the Dark Dimension. The story goes that a man was walking home around 2 am when he noticed something strange in the distance. It looked like a woman, however, according to the man, she was inexplicably tall and there was something odd about the way she was walking. The man stated that the woman froze him in fear and he felt completely unable to move for a few minutes until she had passed. The 
The man also noticed that it appeared there were three children with the woman, one in her arms and two walking. Why does the woman appear to be in grayscale, while the rest of the film is colored so regularly? Is it possible this is simply a very tall woman walking with her children, or something paranormal? Commenters seem torn on this one. What do you believe? Thank you guys so much for watching.